and I know dogs very well. I train dogs, show dogs, I discipline dogs, I boarded dogs. I've just about done everything you can do with a dog. It's been in my family since I was born. This is a case to me, uh, whether you think this is negligence or poor judgment. I would like to state that a dog is considered an adult at 11 months old. There are a few breeds of dogs, German Shepherds, Rottweilers, Pit Bulls, and Chows, that while trying to protect their owners, will take you right out of the game. And I can attest to that because I have been a victim of that myself. While trying to assist one of my customers who was having a seizure, her dog that I knew very well attacked me a German Shepherd Rottweiler mix and almost ripped my foot off. It's been 15 years and I have really bad scars that I could show all of you from that. Now many people when they see a dog trained they always see them like this with the arms like the dog is going to just go naturally for the arms. People forget those dogs are trained like that. When a dog is trying to protect its owner it's going to go for any part of the body it can get on you. And that can mean your face, your legs, your arms, anything. This dog was just trying to protect its owner. But what did the officer have on his side? Now, I heard someone mention pepper spray. I've seen pepper spray, mace, and a baseball bat used on a pit bull, and it hasn't stopped him. Not one iota. I've experienced this. This is what I do for a living. I'm an expert at this. Okay? Now, this is what I could tell you that the officer could have done. He could have had a come-along pole. Now, come-along poles come in four feet and six feet. How they work is they have an extension rod with a loop. When a dog comes at you, you simply put it over its neck, you snap it, you can keep the dog at arm's length. However, you have to be trained to use one, and they're very cumbersome. And it's not always 100% because you have to be accurate while loosing the dog. Now, I would also like to remind you of a very similar incident that happened to a control, an animal control officer that went out with everything she had. This was a person that was very well trained, and a lady sent her pit bull out to attack her. Does anybody remember that? Yes. And that woman was ripped to shreds, okay? What do you think would have happened if that dog would have been protecting her? The woman would have been dead. I, I, I feel bad for Max. I feel bad for the situation. But it was just as this man said, and I observed it on the film, had he just taken the dog to the car, opened the door, and slammed the leash in the door, the dog couldn't have got anywhere. Now, yeah, he could have eaten through that leash. Oh, yeah, eventually. But these officers didn't know this dog was coming out of the window of the car to get them. So what do you have? You have three officers standing there, one Rottweiler. Are they all going to get bit? Are they going to say, wait a minute, uh, wait a minute, Mr. Rottweiler, please stop. We're going to un un undo your master. What do you think is going to happen in a situation like that? It's not going to be one officer bit. It's going to be three officers that are bit. And it's not Max's fault. Max is doing what Max is supposed to do. He's protecting his owner. This is what that breed does. And if you don't want it to do that, don't own one. That's all I guess.